Oxy is an underlying with four stars according to Tastyworks of liquidity. It's also been dragging along its lows for the past month or two. So if you're interested in putting on a low priced naked put, then this might be the cherry bomb trade for you. Hi everybody, it's Neil again. It is June 3rd, 2020. And of course we are putting on our cherry bomb today. So on screen, you can see that we have Oxy pulled up. It's low back here around March, mid of mid-March of $9 after the big drop that we saw here than most stocks. It is, you could say rallied a small amount, or I would say it's just pretty much like an anchor dragging along the bottom here. You could say here that it's definitely seen some support right near this mark of $12, $13 ish, right? So not shockingly, being contrarians that Tasty Trade, Tasty Works people are, the cherry bomb that's suggested today in the email that we receive, and if you want to receive these emails too, they don't come from me, they come from Tasty Trade. Head on down to that description below. There's a link there, it's a bit.ly link. It'll bring you right over to where you can sign up for their email. I don't get anything from Tasty Trade. I just get to see that if you guys are clicking it. And it's always nice to know that people are watching and, and clicking, right? So, <laughs> all right. Head on over and get yourself subscribed so you can get these cherry bombs at the crack of dawn before the trading day. All right, so with that said, of course, we're going to go over to the Analyze tab. We're in Thinkorswim. Of course, that's what we're doing. We're practicing, putting our theories to the test, learning to trade options in Thinkorswim. Of course, you're free to use whatever platform that you'd like. But here inside of Paper Money, I'm going to click on Analyze and choose Add Simulated Trade. And we're going to be in the July weeklies with 37 days to expiration, though I would argue take a look at the uh, July with 44 monthlies because, you know, you might get better bid-ask spread, spreads, better liquidity. According to Tasty Trade, Tasty Works, it does have four stars of liquidity though, so that's good to know. All right, so I'm going to pull these guys open, and we're looking at the 13 put, which has a roughly 27 delta. You get slightly different numbers depending on your platform here. And we're looking at about a mid price here of 75 cents here for a $13 put. So what's the worst situ uh, situation that Oxy goes to zero, right? And you would be out $1,300. So your maximum risk with a naked put is that you get assigned them, right? Uh, at $13 and the underlying goes to zero. Not likely though, right? When you see the market maker move here is expected uh, 36 cents uh, today. All right, so let's right click on, actually we don't have to do this because we're just selling a naked put, I'm sorry. You can just click on the bid for the put. That'll make you short one or 10, depending on how you have your settings here in Thinkorswim. I have it set to default one contract. I'm gonna set the mid price to 75 cents, right? So that would move our break even to $12.25. Um, so that would be our cost basis. If we ended up getting put the shares at 13, our cost basis would really be 12.25, assuming we got filled at 75 cents. But where am I getting all this from, right? Let's take a look at the risk profile. And we're gonna compress this just a little bit over here. We're gonna set the expiration. We said July 10th, okay, is the expiration here. And we're gonna set our slices to break even at expiration. I picked June 10th, didn't I? Big difference. <laughs> All right, so now we're looking at a 68-ish probability that this ends up to the right of this price slice here, right? So that's pretty good, right? That's one standard deviation, 68% probability. Uh, however, I believe the P50 is much higher, a near 80% probability that you're going to collect 50% of the, uh, the credit that you receive here. And the break even right here was at 1225. So that number that I got, that price slice will line up with 1225 at expiration. Of course, the red line here that you see is the break even for expiration. This red line is the break even for today, right? That's exactly where the underlying is right now. So naturally, this is a bullish play. We would like Oxy to continue to stay where it is or go up. 
And remember with options, I've covered this in another video about why options are not as risky as you think, right? You can even be wrong, and at expiration, if it went down, you still make your money. Which I think is, it's just still fun for me to talk about. I think that's so cool. All right, everybody, so we've seen the risk profile. Let's go on over and right-click this and review our max profit of $75, max loss of $1,225, right? And, and you have to think to yourself, would you mind having this small of a position in your portfolio? You can then sell covered calls and all that good stuff to reduce your cost basis. I'm gonna hit send to route this to my uh, working orders and hope that that fills. It's nice to have some naked options positions in. You can see if we can uh, monitor those and manage those if necessary. All right, everybody, that was our cherry bomb trade for today. If you like this sort of thing, please hit that like button. If you want to see this thing every day, right, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. You'll be notified when our videos come out. We do cherry bomb trades four days a week and a recap on Monday. So I appreciate you so much for stopping by. And if you'd like, leave me a little comment. All right, will you put this trade on in your paper trade account? All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.